Hello, welcome to the ISTV English News, the headlines of the day. 13 members of 11 political parties leave for Delhi to lobby against Citizens' Chief Amendment Bill. Protest against Citizens' Chief Amendment Bill continue an abated meeting held at Quiramban Market. An assistance provided by Red Cross Society is bringing light into lives of widows, says Governor Dr. Najma Hatullah. Good evening. I'm Priya Lakshmi Lampoglapam giving you the top stories and latest news at this hour. Now the news in detail. A 13th member team of 11 different political parties left for Delhi today to lobby against Citizen Chief Amendment Bill. President of BJP Manipur Pradesh K.S. Ace Bhavananda Singh and M. Ashni Kumar of Bharatiya Janata Party, Dr. P.S. Jila Sana Sharma of National People's Party, Seth of PDAY Navachandra of Notice India Development Party, B. Govin Sharma of MPC, K.H. Armstrong Charang of Naga People's Front, K. Khagendra Singh of MNDF, and Tombi of Shib Sena, Thangkhagin of Lok Jan Sakti Party, Thaudam Manihar Singh of AAP, and Ratan of RSP, and Manauton Singh of AITC. Speaking to media persons, State President of Sib Sena M. Tombi said, During the visit, the team will urge withdrawal of bill or to insert clause in the bill not to affect naughty states including Manipur. He said it is unfortunate that some political parties refuse to join the team to hold talks or visit Delhi to urge center to present different ideologies against the people's headed bill. Daily visit is mainly for the purpose of saving notice and Manipur. Sikumba Manipur Miamna, Pam the Bay Yadami, I'm the control of Silo, but Sikumba, Eka Se, Masik Lokton, Runaba, I quit Isha Isaki party of the table, the Lawuki Muta, a quick party, I quit ideologies, I do a quick labor, Pire Bist and Punam Hongdom Raga, Manipur Sikalon of Wangapolam, the quick labor, Abasasi Kalon of Lawminerus and Hibada, a quit the Yoroi, a quit the meeting Yoroi, a quit the Amada do Yoroi, man a do to Romani, man a dato Romani Hiba. Masih kumpa, ikhui ki pot mayam sing se. Masih ikhui ceceri ba, ikhui mayam sing se. Masih na mukhui dekik ikhui ki yam tu nungsi na, ikhui Mongol asibat Nigeri. Adu ka mukhui su lakwi na ba, madu ma ikhui ki mai ki dekik adu honorable siam tu su ikhui mui ki dumsa dum thong hang tu na thami ikhui pun dek thina mina ba ibse ikhui Manipur. Dalil tu perja pun na mukhi apa mani. T.S. Manihar of Aam Aadmi Party said it is necessary to a center on issues of Manipur by the political parties irrespective of the differences. special provision political party Parti ke khel na bolay chena yau ro gani hai bogi jab ekta ehak su am admi parti dagi ma ke jagi marshi ki issue si de yau ro ba dili da chacha bani. Anti citizen safe amendment bill protest was held in Nagamapal in Thangmaiban areas. Protesters took out a march against the bill from Thangmaiban Sinam Laikai, organized by Thangmaiban United Club this afternoon. A team of Manipur police stopped the protesters near Nagamapal Kangjabi Lairak as they tried to herd towards Kwaramban Market and were made to return. Speaking to media persons, Vice President of Thangmaiban United Club, El Pratap, maintained that the government must understand that the people of Manipur are against the bill and that the MPs and MLAs must oppose the passing of the bill in Rajya Sabha. He asserted that the people will continue to protest until the bill is withdrawn. Miam the Kaman Gadabani, Aduga Baro Sarkarna, Manipur Miam, nor Ispu, Tosito, it was a Masi Sapsana, Masi Lepkadani, Lepta Taragati, Hoji Time and United Club, Manipur Gisio, Sartre Sansan, Mianga Sansila Pakunjan Gudimata, Time and United Club Nazu, as a water down Logoni, a quick city woman, Sida Hanbalit and a quick Nagal in a Tianagan Avisa. Taking part in the protest march are K. Somarendra alias Kaiku, who is set to contest in the ensuing Lok Sabha election appeal to both the ruling and the opposition parties to stop trying to take credit, taking advantage of the issue of citizenship amendment bill on media. He urged the MPs and 60 MLAs to take the matter to Delhi and let the central government know that the state is against the bill. <laughs> 
और एम पी मरीज है राज्यसभा की लोकसभा एम पी मरीज है मीडिया का डिस्कशन आवाड हूं लेब नब मैं अहूम चपी रहा सेंटर का जंत्र मंत्र फंबीर और नेशनल न्यूज मैम कौर सूझ सा पीर आदि लान हूँ मत मंगन भी हयंग राज्यसभा बिल पास तौद से गेम सन भी प्रजा खुद पाजा लीडर मैं हूँ आ चल धरना फंबीर मो मो लीडर से उन्न भी है बिल से पास तौदन हूँ सीधे पोलिटिकल माइलेंस लोजी है मतलब On the other hand, a torch rally was taken out in areas of Thobal Market, organized by all Thobal Mera Pai B Apun Balub against Citizen Chief Amendment Bill last night. The torch rally began from Thobal Awang Laikai. However, police stopped the protesters as they tried to march towards Thobal DC. The protesters chanted various slogans such as "We oppose Citizen Chief Amendment Bill," "Let's save Indigenous People." President of Old Thobal Mera Pai B Apun Balub A K Sundari said the organisation will support any form of protest against the bill. Governor Dr Najma Habtula has stated that assistance provided by Red Cross Society is bringing light into lives of widows. The governor was addressing the gathering at the distribution of aids for the second phase under Ashagi Manga Livelihood Project under the joint sponsorship of International Committee of Red Cross and Indian Red Cross Society, New Delhi. The program was held at Lamyan Bas Sanglen Palace Compound. Chairman of Management Committee, Indian Red Cross Society, Manipur State Branch, Dr. R. K. Nimai, Vice Chairman Narendra Ningomba, and Honorary Secretary Dr. Y. Mohan were present on the occasion. Governor Father added that Red Cross Society is a society that has sacrificed for humanitarian service. The society has been taking up various steps to promote culture, social, and moral activities. It has been rendering its service for the society during the times of natural calamities across the globe. Manipur State Branch has also been continuing its service as well as focusing on providing assistance for the welfare of widows under Asagi Mangal project. Red Cross Society under this project will be able to provide assistance to bring light into the lives of widows of HIV, cancer and armed conflict victims. Chairman of the Managing Committee of Red Cross Society Manipur State Branch Dr R K Nimai stated that the project will provide benefits to 500 selected widow beneficiaries in 5 years. He said the project is now 2 and 1/2 years old and has provided benefits to 112 beneficiaries so far. Nimai intimated that each beneficiaries is provided benefits of up to rupees 48000 66 selected beneficiaries of Imphal East Imphal West Bishnupur and Thaubal districts in 16 different trades were provided benefits today Nimai also stated that beneficiaries in other districts will also be provided with the benefits People Action for National Democratic Movement Pandam observe its 8th Foundation Day at Nopilal Complex today. President of Pandam Yumnamcha Dilip Kumar, editor in chief of Kangla Park Maira, Wangkhemcha Siamjai, president of Kangla Mai, while Larry Kleima, president of KIL RK Sanahanbi, vice president of UCM KSA Somarendro, president of IPSA Joy Chandra Kontosam, president in charge of Akom Loop Sanjit Soraisam, president of CLK CA Spark Pichanu President of Ipak M Babalant were among those present at the event. Speaking on the occasion, Yumnam Chad Dilip Kumar said, "Pandam, as a constituent organization of UCM, has been taking a active role in movements to protect the integrity of the state and against corruption." He stated that Pandam welcomes the step taken up after holding the old political party meeting regarding citizenship amendment bill, despite the step being late. Dilip Kumar stated that instead of claiming condemnation against the bill, it is high time people stood up against the bill. Narang tangkun ni pan dam all political party ki mifam ama kawi, masi tasyang badi yam na tiyang abani yam nang ano all political party ki mifam masi kawraga high riba adugi matang dam Manipur State Assembly ki special session na mafamu hay basi miyam ki wapa mo ayram bani adu wu special session pam ki wapa di mo ay le kanagitre. ओल पोलिटिकल पार्टी की मफम फम होनी है पोलिटिकल पार्टी खरने याब अब खरादी अखोई वाखल पेंजे यामत मोटी फोदोग 
Hadi hanya ini bukan mak adok. Si Minister ke Government sih ke pemin nara kanda masih yang deh pam deh hai bersih masih aktif boleh nak fonggok bermat sange. Aduh ke house tu kita mampan thokpa natri kena madu saujen nara kena thokpa hai bersih sih dah ikut gigi mangsa wa ikut gigi right asih masih fully utilize tu bungam dabi gigi kurung tiba ma lay hai nen lawi. Aduh masih aji wakal dadik. Ya ufam thoi ya orang ke mamai sum nara puga dabi ni. A meeting of 15 civil society organizations held at Trong Laobi Awang Community Hall has decided to impose ban from Moirang Lamkai to Torbung along Tedim Road on February 5 if it has not been repaired within February 4. The meeting also resolved to launch various forms of agitation if the demands are not fulfilled. The meeting was organized by Trong Laobi Youth Association and formed a committee called Apunba Civil Society Moirang to Torbung Tedim Road. K. Vidya Chandra has been elected as chairman among other elected office bearers. Speakers drew attention of the government to repair the road within February 4. <laughs> Youth Parliament Festival 2019 concluded yesterday at the Golden Jubilee Auditorium of Moirang College. Altogether, 40 students participated in the festival. Former Minister N. Mangi and ex MLA and Prince Viraj were among others present on the occasion. Speaking at the function, N. Mangi said the present government in the country has failed to perceive the meaning of democracy. He added that passing of Citizenship Amendment Bill in Lok Sabha is against the Indian Constitution. And Mangi further said that the youth parliament not only imparted knowledge and information to the students but, what, but was also held at a time given the present situation of Manipur. <laughs> Well, it's time for a very short commercial break. We'll be back in a short while. Keep watching ISTV News. Welcome back after the break. People block road to protest local MLA's failure to complete repair road from Tiding Ground to Konjeng Laikai. The incomplete road repairing works have met the people residing in the nearby area suffer from various diseases due to the excessive dust particles. Condemning the act of the local MLA, a resident lamented that the road has been left unrepaired since the last 12 years. Residents cautioned to launch various forms of steer if the black topping has not been initiated at the earliest. Road blockage will not be lifted until it is black topped. <laughs> International Observation Committee on Puya Maithaba Kanglai Park and Maite National Front observe 290th Puya Maithaba Commemoration Day at Mender Multipurpose Research Center and Unity Park Hangabok yesterday. Puya Mikonba ritual was also held by offering floral tributes to the forefathers to let the present generation regather the sacred scriptures of Manipur, Puya which was burnt in front of Kangla Uttra. Titular King of Manipur Lesimba Sana Jawa, Convener of Ikop Namoism Tomba, Vice President of Tangkul 
Naga Wungnao Long, Kasung Technician and leaders of various organizations took part in the main event of the observance. Titular King Sana Jaoba conferred the Chingmi Tami Nungsi Lipun Award 2019 to H.A. Angyawung Tangkul of Hunfun Okrul District and Mai Chow Ningsing Award to Take Lambam Amubi of Kaino on the occasion. Speaking at the people, Sana Jaoba appealed to the people to stay united to bring about peace and prosperity for the future generation. A team of Moray Commando seized 88 gram of heroin powder, estimated to be worth over rupees 8 lakh from two persons in room number 7 of Hotel Yaifabi, Mori. The arrested persons were identified as Tokchom Bikram Singh, 23 years of Basikong Water Supply, and Ahong Sangbam Naucha Maite, 19 years of Basikong Kitanapanu. The duo, along with the seized contraband items, were handed over to Mori Police. General Secretary of Women's Social Development Organization Wahengbam Amina has clarified that Wahengbam Sophia of Bishnupur Ward No. 5, whom Imphal West SP has reported to have been arrested from Langol in connection with forcing of CMHT card from Langol on January 26, is not from Bishnupur Ward No. 5. See appeal to the police to clarify at the earliest. <laughs> Haksenki Kat Kimalina Langon de Gi Pakiba. Hyper as he Wangbom on Bishopia, Hibasi Bisunpu, one number five that Hyper as he Haks Mahaki, Lasanka, Borderist, Tigaluba, Madame, that Hyper as he Magi Marina about to go make a Matalent. Police Department, my Kedegi, Asumarang, Tidopira Ganda, a single analyzing a do talk. Despite the efforts of Manipur government to bring quality education in government schools, some government schools still lack adequate infrastructure due to which students are facing a lot of difficulties. Speaking to media person, Secretary of School Management Committee, Sagang Higher Secondary School in Chuchanpur District, Lal Komang Serto, stated that the school, which was upgraded from high school to higher secondary in 2014 by the Dane state government, the school still has only six lecturers and one arts teacher. He said students are still facing difficulties due to lack of school infrastructure. Lal Komang Serto sought attention of the state government to look into the basic necessities of the school at the earliest. <laughs> Admission she hang han bi do na anong na tamagi bangang sing si ki amuk han na mukun si mang dan na ba kita magta hujung hujik lay ibu sakal ta ay na apil ta hujari. Before we end, let's do a quick recap of the headlines once again. Thirteen members of eleven political parties leave for Delhi to lobby against Citizen Chief Amendment Bill. Protests against Citizens' Chief Amendment Bill continue unabated meeting held at Kwaramban Market. An assistance provided by Red Cross Society is bringing light into lives of widows, says Governor Dr. Najma Hatullah. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.